Dennis Kucinich, the former presidential candidate. Dennis, before we get to the politics, if Joe Biden is saying cannibals ate his uncle, do you think he should have his head checked? <laughs> Let me just say this, Jesse. Yes. As a, uh, as a vegan, I find <laughs> this discussion... I find this discussion distasteful. Okay, <laughs> it's all right. When you see Joe Biden wander into Wawa in a scripted exchange of milkshakes and then getting lost, and then you compare that to Trump going to Chick-fil-A and getting mobbed by young black women who scream, I'm going to tell my mama I'm famous, what does that tell you about the state of the race? Well, let me just say that... Um President Biden has to be out there campaigning. I think it's a good thing for the president to go out and meet people. Uh, I think the presidential race is going to be very close. But the issue, when everything's sorted out, it's going to end up being about the economy. Uh, you know, you got a situation where, for millions of Americans, uh, their expenses are outstripping the money that they have. They're going into debt. Uh, Moody's, by the way, said, I think it's that families are spending $784 each month more for goods and services than they did two years ago. Inflation's up about 19% over three years. Sure, Those Dennis, that milkshake that Joe Biden just bought was $10,000. That's probably why he didn't people, know what to do. <laughs> people are hurting, Jesse, and, and, he, and they get upset with government. Right or wrong, they'll blame the president. Uh, you know, in Pennsylvania, which where uh, President Biden has been. Pennsylvania has had a long-term uh, uh, financial problem because of the United States trade laws. It's one of the reasons why uh, the steel industry was so badly um, uh, degraded in the United States, and it hit Pennsylvania as hard as it hit any place. Fortunately, U.S. steel uh, is, is still hanging in there. But, you know, there's a lot of discontent out there, and it's, uh, it's, its essence is economic, but it's also fueled by the border and by billions of dollars that are being spent for foreign wars. There's discontent that's being stirred up. But bottom line, people are worried about prices. Of course they uh, are. And Joe Biden's, the the Joe Biden's letting the but Japanese for, buy who? U.S. steel or buy American steel companies. It's, it's absolutely insane. Do you believe that people are, as young as seven are flipping Joe Biden the bird? Well, you, you know, I think we have to respect uh, uh, the president and the presidency. I think it's really important, and we ought to reestablish that if it doesn't exist now. And uh, children in particular should be taught respect for the president and the presidency. Uh, I, I think the, um, we, we really have to start taking a different direction in our politics. They're, they're, too, they're too personal, they're too destructive, and they ultimately undermine who we are as Americans. So. I agree. You know, I'm not particularly happy hearing about kids giving uh, Me neither. the president. Me neither. We have to get anger. it together, Dennis. If we could just get it together, everything would be just A-OK. -okay. Enjoy your vegan burger. I hope it's delicious. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.